Welcome back to Dwindling DS Diva. My name is Amber. We are going to talk about food. So, what were my food preferences before the surgery? What were the behaviors that I had? There are a lot of different driving factors that lead people to obesity and to needing these types of tools in order to regain their former selves or to regain a new self and to get control of their weight. So for me, I actually enjoy food that is typically considered more healthy. I'm uh, not saying that I don't make bad choices now and then. I do because I'm human. I typically for like bad things I would have like the Smith's private selection chocolate covered caramels with salt and they're like that big I would only ever have one at a time or I would have um, private selection again I really like that brand Smith's is really good when it comes to like off brand foods like sometimes off brand items are not so great but Smith's is pretty good at that it's Kroger Kroger brand for anyone who's not from my area so the private selections um, they also have like a Oreo cookie ice cream and I would always get like the little pint size one and I'll eat that like four or five times before it's gone so I never would eat in excess and as we found out in my endoscopy, I have a small stomach, so overeating was never really my thing. Um, one of my favorite places to go out to eat is called Zuba's. If you're not, again, from my area, my side of the country, you might not know where that is or what that is, sorry. I was actually raised in Iowa and in Houston, and I didn't know what it was until I moved out here, but it's a soup and salad place. They sell sandwiches too, but their soups and salads are what I go for. I really like their cauliflower Wisconsin soup and their strawberry harvest salad. I'm a huge salad lover. I like strawberry harvest salad. I like to do like a cob salad at home, but I use a honey mustard dressing instead of like ranch like most people do. I don't know, I, it's not that I don't like ranch, I'm just not like really big into it, like some people out there that put it on everything. That's not me. Um, I also really love Caesar salad, just like plain romaine lettuce with Caesar dressing, Parmesan, that's, that's awesome. Um, I love chicken. Um, red, red meat, like ground beef for some reason, like a lot of times I'm not into ground beef. I can eat it if it's like tacos or spaghetti, but I don't know. Just, I have an aversion to it sometimes for some reason. I do like steak. And I eat like potatoes, which aren't really the best thing for you either. They're good and they're common, but they're not the best thing for you out there, especially when you're trying to lose weight. So I was a huge Diet Mountain Dew drinker. I am actually over a week out from quitting soda. Um, I actually expected it to be a lot harder than it was to quit soda, if I'm being completely honest. So I used to be a smoker. I smoked a pack and a half a day. And I think because I had spent so long drinking Mountain Dew all the time, like it was going out of style, that I expected it to be a lot more like quitting smoking, but it really wasn't. I just, I set a date in my calendar and I was like, this is the day I'm breaking up with fizzy drinks. We ain't together no mo. And that day came and the last like two or three days before that day, I really hit the soda hard, which I hadn't been in months. I was drinking a lot more water, Circle, my Life Fuels bottle, Crystal Light. And those last few days, I had to hit it harder to get them drank and get them out of the house. 
and the little bit that was left when my husband came home he was like all right we're gonna put it in my car I'm gonna take it to work I'll drink it get it out of the house and the next day I woke up and I was all right and I went through the whole day and I was so proud of myself I was like yay I did it I went a whole day without drinking Diet Mountain Dew or any soda but Diet Mountain Dew was my thing and then I went downstairs to go make supper and I opened the fridge and there it was this one two liter we had forgotten all about wasn't even open was ready to make that delicious fizzy sound as you crack the two liter and I looked at it and I immediately called my husband and I was like uh we missed one <laughs> and I was good though I did not touch it cold turkey off that soda uh, I was like all right my daughter and my husband are gonna drink it. I asked my husband I was like when you go out and you get like a meal out that comes with a drink like what do you do if you don't drink soda you know so I really love fruit fruit is something that I'm really big into I know a lot of people like love peanut butter I'm not saying that it's bad it's all right but it's not my thing or chocolate I am obsessed with fruit all things fruit so I do occasionally have some naughty fruit things like um, high chews or and I never eat very many of them though just point that out or one of the things that is pretty bad is like we have an ice cream place here called Arctic Circle I'll have like their strawberry cheesecake ice cream sometimes but I don't go there very often either and so I'm really big into fruit which I think is great because after the surgery I'll still be able to get that fix I mean it'll never be in any great quantity I'm not gonna sit there and have like fondue night but I can have you know strawberry here or there and it'll still fit into my meal plan and the way I look at it is I have a small stomach now and I never never thought I did or noticed that I eat a significant amount less than other people so when I have an even smaller stomach I will just have smaller portions but it's I'm still gonna get to eat those things so it's not anything that's really gonna bother me because even though I can't eat like five strawberries I can eat a strawberry so I love strawberries by the way that's why you keep hearing that one strawberries are my favorite and I also love pasta so Italian food and so after the surgery I plan on trying like impossibles or shiitake noodles farther out from my surgery because I want to take as much advantage post-op as possible during those crucial months in the very beginning where you can lose the most amount of weight so I'm gonna go really hard with what I do put into my diet but then once I get farther out and I'm in maintenance mode I plan on trying some different things and you know we'll see how that goes I also like like pizza uh, tacos enchiladas um, fajitas I saw somebody post something about jacaima I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right because I've never seen it before I saw this post it's like a vegetable that you can get at Trader Joe's in a package that sliced really thin and you can use it as like a taco replacement so that's another thing that I plan on trying um, I do like zoodles I love chicken I think chicken is awesome it's so versatile I'm a chicken breast kind of person I kind of weirded out by like bones and veins and gristle and all that stuff so I've never been into like fried chicken fried foods that's not my thing I don't like the like I'm weird about things touching me too like <laughs> when it comes to like greasy food like you have to touch it and it touches your face and that bothers me I don't don't like that I would rather have like grilled chicken any any time 
So I do have a lot of habits that are already going to benefit me after surgery because I like a lot of things that are already good for me. And it's just going to be about weeding out some of the bad habits that I do have and finding replacements for some of the things that I can find healthier alternatives for. So that's kind of my plan post-surgery. Hopefully the time flies because pre-op diet is hard. In my mind, pain is a great motivator. So I'm thinking post-op surgery is not gonna be so bad even though I have to be on a pure liquid diet for two weeks because it's gonna hurt and I'm not gonna wanna eat. But right now, while your girl's hungry, I want to eat. And so it's kind of hard. It's not that bad though. Again, I mean, I'm only on day two, so we'll see how it progresses. We'll do some check-ins. And, um, but right now I feel fine. It's almost 6.30 and I still haven't ate my dinner portion yet. So, yeah, I'm doing okay. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I have a small stomach because it's a small portion of food that you're allowed to eat, but it's enough that I feel okay. So, I'm all right. But I am so happy that you guys are following along. And please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when I get another video out for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.